Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter here with another project log for you. Now, I know that a lot of you are going to be expecting to see the latest update on the D-Day board, but because they shut early for Easter and they were sort of closed over Easter, and because I made a bit of a foobar and I put the, the anti-landing craft defences down the wrong way, the work this week, week I've already turned them around, but it's going to need to set, and so update-wise, because the beach is sort of holding everything back, there isn't really a decent update for it yet. Yeah, it would have been a couple of minutes, and so I thought, you know what, I'll roll it into next week's update when you'll be able to see... Da-da, you know, the big reveal sort of thing. With that being said, yeah, we have been working on a little project over the past sort of month or so, yeah, in the weekends and that sort of stuff with the kids. So, I give you the kids' territorials board. Enjoy. Hey guys, Mel the Train Shooter here again with another build log. Now, it's a lazy Sunday in the house and we've got a bit of a, a family project on. Now, this is a, a Corbin build, a Daddy and Corbin build. Yeah, but Willow's helping us with the planning because she's got her own build that we're doing afterwards. Yeah, we're doing sort of a fairy city, aren't we? Probably. Yeah. Now, me and Corb, yeah, and Wills, yeah, we've got quite heavily into bot action. Corb's doing his japs, Willow's doing the zombies, yeah, for our homebrew bot action and brains game, innit? Yeah. Now, when it comes to playing, we've got a bit of a challenge in the house, yeah, because it's gaming tables and space to the actual game, innit? Because the coffee table we've got, it's too small, yeah, and my big gaming table is a bit too big to get out in the kitchen. And it may, on the side, it may be too, like, not fat enough for the whole build to go on. Oh, it's certainly bigger. It, to be truthful, my gaming board's too big, darling. We need something a bit smaller. No, so I meant on the side where your desk is. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah? So, we need a smaller gaming table, okay? Now... We could just cut a bit of wood in half, you know, you know, and just whack it down. But we want to do something special, and that's because, yeah, we've been playing with these. What are these guys? Territiles. Yeah. And they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually. Yeah. Now the idea behind them is they're a modular tile system to put down. Okay, and I'm going to explain a bit about them while the kids do the planning stage. But basically, we use these quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, for our gaming table. So, we're going to be doing a custom terror tiles table. And I'll explain what that means on the way. But before we can do it, yeah, what we've got to do is figure out exactly, yeah, how big it is. So, we need to figure out our terror tiles board, yeah, with about what? Half an inch, an inch? I, I, three oh. inches, you said. Oh, no. no, we don't need three inches at, on the edge of the tiles, mate. We only need a most an inch. No, it's an inch and a half on each side. I reckon an inch. Let's lay out the board and we'll take it from there. So guys, are you going to sort of yeah. lay out a board? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's crack on. get started. So we've laid out the tiles, we've got our, our measurements, and what are we looking at for our board size? Yeah, length width, is... Width of 33 inches and length of 51.5 inches. 51.5 inches. Yeah, and then width. Yeah. I think it was half. 51 and a half. <laughs> it is 51 and a half. That's point five. It's decimals, isn't it? I know. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So our next job is we need to go outside and get my old gaming table, which is currently in the sort of dirty shed. Yeah, and we need to drag it out and we need to cut it down. So it's power tool time. So the kids are going to clean this up, the, the tiles, yeah? We'll talk about the layouts more as we go on, yeah? But you've seen it as we go. But we need to get cracked on. Right guys, uh, the board's cut and we are done for today, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, right. So, what did we do? First we went out into the backyard, into the shed, 
cleared out everything in the shed so we can get this beautiful board here. Yeah, because this was my work top. That's important. I'll explain why in a second. Then what did we do? Then we got it out. We got out the jigsaw. Yeah. We cut the... Did we? Basically first we marked... Uh -uh, we didn't. We marked down a line. Yeah. On this on the right side here for... So that we got it the exact measure, measurements we want. Yeah, that after we did the measuring when we laid it out, yeah? Yeah. Then what then did we cut? We got the jigsaw and cut off some like 12 inches. It was about 12 inches, yeah. That way. Off here so that we had the exact size. Uh, what about, what did we do with the corners? Then we marked the corners here. Yeah. Because it was hexagon. So cut off all the corners with the jigsaw yeah and placed it down sanded it yeah some pr pretty extreme sanding yep some pretty extreme sanding yeah we, then we brung it in yeah it on this table started cleaned setting. it up you yeah. did a good cleaning job on that he's a good scrubber right so yeah basically yeah we measured everything up and we've cut the table so it's essentially a custom terra tiles table yeah. yeah, it's designed just to have, you know, we'd actually wanted about an inch overlap all the way around, didn't we? Yeah, but... Yeah, but I thought it was three foot wide. When we got to the watch bullet, when we got to the shed... Measured, measured wrong. Yeah, well, I, I didn't measure, to be truthful, I guessed. And we found out that actually, yeah, on our design, yeah, it gives us about a centimetre either side. And on top of that, one of the edges is a little bit wavy in it. That's because it was a rough cut, because it was a workbench. Yeah, not a gaming table, and there's not enough room to tr to neaten it. Yeah, so one of our edges is a little bit rough, but that's okay. Yeah, it's a little bit wavy. We like waving, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> but it's all down. Now you may say, "What? This is a project lug. You've cut some corners off the table and sanded it. It's not exactly a terrain project, is it, mate?" But we're taking it to the next level. Now, obviously, these are terra tiles. Oh, you know the terra tiles. One of the little things that happens is, yeah, with them being tiles and cards, occasionally, around. yeah, they can move around. Now, it's not so much with that, an issue with adults, yeah, especially when you've got scattered terrain on it, yeah, because adults, if they catch the odd one, they, they very quickly neaten it. But you kids, you kids can give them a right good nudge, hey, can't I, you? I can neaten them back up. Yeah, in about five, ten minutes. No, about twenty seconds. Well, we'll have, we'll have a speed test day, eh? yeah. But anyway, we want to avoid this. So, what we decided we'd do is, we've got some balsa wood here, yeah? yeah? Now it is just the same thickness as the cards, yeah? And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a rim that goes all the way round, yeah, that the terra tiles will fit in, so that when we lay our terra tiles down, yeah, they're going to basically not be able to slide around and move, because they're going to be fixed. Yeah, we're going to paint it, seal it, varnish it, all that sort of stuff. And we will have a custom table that the kids can very quickly jump on, lay out, yeah, it'll be all neat and tidy, no fiddling about, that sort of stuff. It's just big enough that it's got, what, a couple of inches all the way round, overhang. So it's really steady, but it's big enough for us to game on, no matter whether we're playing bot action, bot action and brains, or any other game we fancy playing. Four yeah. inches. Yeah? Yeah, about four inches, you reckon? So, our next job, yeah, is going to be... Lining it up, it's yeah? Awesome. But we'll save that for another day. Yeah. So, we'll save. Here are the pics of us cracking on when we get cracked on. Yeah? Yeah. Right, see you in a minute.
Okay guys, we're back with the Motley crew and it's been a little while since we've done the last update, yeah? The last time we did the little video, yeah, we just cut out the ply board, cut the old gaming table. And obviously we've done a lot of work since then, kids, haven't we? Yeah. Right, yeah. so go on then. I'll what? Go. You guys wing it, I'm just behind the camera. Basically, so far we've been measuring the balsa wood to make sure that it fits the table. Yeah. We've cut it out. Yeah. PVA'd it Can down. Okay. And then, once it was all glued down. Wait, how did we do the triangles? We made them out of terra tiles. No. So we could get the shape right. That's right, we did, Wills. We made it. What did we make them out of, Corbin? Don't, don't eat your top, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah, they were made out of balsa wood. So once they were all glued down and we, we got all the shape done, yeah, then what did we do? We let it dry for a bit. Then mm. what we did, Holly, you speak now. Put you, filler. We put filler on, yeah. And this? I feel like we did a really good job. Yeah, so we blended all the sort of longer edges. Yeah, and it's almost there, isn't it? We've cleaned it all up. We just need to get this sort of bit in the way. Yeah, we need to get it painted up. Yeah, Dad's got to sand the edges and just make them a little bit nicer, but that's a job for Dad. Okay, so I'm going to do that next. Then after that, guys, yeah. after that, it's painting time, isn't it? Yeah, and we're going to get some paint on it. Hopefully, it'll be painted by the end of today. Okay. Yeah, so what we'll have to... Ready to go next day? I hope so. We'll have to see how good the painting now, quick it dries. Maybe we might do a video. We, I hope we do. Right, not interesting face, Holly Bobble. <laughs> like that. YouTube's going to love that one. <laughs> right, guys, yeah, we're going to crack on. I'm going to get it sanded and the kids are going to just smooth off the edges. Yeah. So, we'll be back with another video shortly, won't we, kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Right, so the board's done, isn't it? Yep, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got it all painted. It was a bit messy, wasn't it? Willow's <laughs> Willow's got a new pair of, of crafting trousers. A uh, mistake. Right, so we painted it all up. Yeah, guys, that was about it. We sanded it and painted it, wasn't it? And it's all done. Now, you've got the terra tiles on there now. Yeah, and this is your board, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so what have we got on there? Moss. We got the rivers and coasts. We've got the yeah, that's a new set, isn't it? And swamps. We've got the, the kickstarter as well. They came with swamps. The then we've got the rocks and pastel rivers. Grass right. Another the one. There. They do and like the them, don't they? Yeah. And do you like your board? Yeah. Awesome. Does it work? Yeah. 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 Right. Shall we show people how it works? Yeah. yeah. All right then. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Right. Give me a sec. So that's it guys, the board is built, yeah, it's been a hell of a project, <laughs> they say don't work with children or animals, yeah, most challenging filming I've ever done, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, yeah, but the building was brilliant, now like I say, this is our terra tiles board, yeah, and I'm a really big fan of terra tiles, yeah, the reason being is that when I first saw them, yeah, there was a, I liked them because it reminded me of Mighty Empires, but I'll be a, a little bit, I'll be honest with you guys, yeah, I thought they were a little bit of a joke for Wargaming, yeah, I thought great for the kids and that sort of stuff, yeah, but Wargaming, nah, nah, you want proper terrain, you know what I mean, not layout tiles, I've never been so wrong in my life, yeah, I love them, yeah, we play on them all the time, yeah, laying out a 6x4 is easy, and now we've got the coastal pieces that turned up this week, yeah, which was a real bonus, there's just so many different variant boards we can lay out. Now, if you think battle mats are cool, yeah, then you really need to be checking out these terra tiles, yeah, because yeah, it's a mobile, yeah, I mean, you don't need to build a custom table. The custom table is really good for the kids. It sort of confines them, you know, and makes it really easy for them to lay it out, as you can see. Yeah, but for, for us grown-ups, yeah, dead easy, lay them out and off you go, and just a bit of scatter terrain on them, and you, you've got a fully-featured 
terrain table with all your roads, your rivers, swamp land, yeah, a few scout pieces on it, it looks brilliant. So guys, seriously, go check out uh, the guys from Terra Tile, uh, Seth and Heath, yeah, pair of brothers, awesome guys, they do have a Kickstarter at the moment, yeah, I'll put a link at the end of the video, it's for, I think it's for Ice World and Tund Wastelands and I can see it suiting a lot of games to be perfectly honest, yeah, so go check it out, link's at the end of the video and I will see you next week, yeah, with the big reveal for the D-Day board.